Okay. Now I'm going to have to do take my little file here. Clean this up a little bit more so I can get the base of this frog. This part here as close to the point as I possibly can. So I'm clean up some of that more. Clean out that solder a little bit again. Being careful not to destroy, take off the foil. Oh, by the way, if you do end up uh, damaging your PC ties, taking up too much, not necessarily a horrible thing. Um, what you want to do is essentially put some solder here and here and a tie adjacent to it, and then uh, just take the tie off, put the uh, soldering iron there and melt the solder and the old tile pop off and you can just pop a new tie underneath uh, slip it underneath and uh, No one will be the wiser that there was a problem there, so um, Oh, yeah, that's much better much better, okay all right, so Got this nice nice and snug up against here as you can see let me zoom in here. Hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. It gets us all nice and snug here. Alright, I think... Uh, oops, 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 oops. I think we're in good shape. Alright, yeah. Okay. Now, let me take my... Uh, track gauges here, attach them onto here, and uh, I'm going to try to slide this up as far as I can. The back of this uh, um, track gauge is going to butt up against here, so you can't slide it too far, but I want to get uh, make my adjustments to get this all as tight as possible up in here. Because what again, you know, like this rail here, you want to have a smooth, continuous transition from this point here, okay, onto this closure rail. So, yeah, you want that when you look down, uh, you're know, using line of sight, you want to see a continuous rail go through here. And again, this is where a uh, ruler comes in handy and hold along against here because yeah a straight ruler will in this situation now for a curve turn out it'll be a little bit different but uh, this is still straight right here I mean none of this uh, neither of these two points are curved so go ahead and just slide along there and see where the ruler touches uh, so say the heel what will be the technical term the bend in the frog here, as it touches, I think we're in good shape. All right, so okay, length. Uh, I think I need to trim the length on the point here. It's not quite fitting snug. Maybe about a little less than a sixteenth of an inch. Okay, trim a little bit, tiny bit off there. I'm going to go ahead and just take a nip a tiny bit, just a little bit, yeah, not that much, there, okay. That's where I'm just going to do some touch-up using my little wooden block here. Um, go ahead and fit this on here, and I kind of follow a little groove in there uh, to hold the rail base. So I'm just going to go ahead and file a little bit on there. And just a little bit. Kind of get that uh, point back where it should be. And I think uh, I'm doing okay. I think we're doing all right here. Yeah. So, uh, let me go take my little triangle file. Actually, it's my square file. You can use a square file, a little triangle file, whatever. Just as long as you file 
It's a small file. And yeah, isn't too clumsy. Gives you a chance to file the rail head off. Okay, here yeah, we got that one. I think we're in good shape there. Now, I think I showed you on the other point that uh, I just take this and file a little egg, just a tiny little bevel. Just a tiny little bevel on this point. And that essentially aids, you know, let me file this a little bit flatter there, a little more perpendicular, but a tiny bevel there. Essentially uh, makes it easier uh, for the wheels to gradually uh, hook onto the point. Uh, I'm going to explain this. Yeah, so the transition is a lot smoother here. You have this little bevel on there. 